Good morning, modern steaders. Do you see my breath? Nope. 36 degrees out this morning. Oh, not a frost yet, but pretty close. I bet you in the next week or two we're gonna have our first frost. The pigs are waiting for us. Come on, pigs. You guys have got this area rooted up nicely. You did it quick, too. Don't touch that fence. I told you. Don't touch the fence. You gonna get in there, Mrs. Chops, or what? There you go. As of this morning, our big surprise still isn't done yet. But if you watched yesterday's bonus video, you already know what the surprise is. <laughs> we shoot two days, our videos go out two days after we record them. And I was able to get the bonus video recorded and out right after the big surprise got finished. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch the bonus video. I'll put a link to it right here. And then in tomorrow's video, we'll be using the surprise. Guys, I can't wait. It's almost like I'm talking to myself back in the future. Because I haven't been able to use it yet, but you've been able to see me use it. That's just crazy. Oh, I can't wait till we're using it every day. Well, your milk production's really down today. You must be in heat, aren't you? Breeding season. Willow's milk production always fluctuates this time of the year. When she's in heat, milk production drops. When she's not in heat, it goes back up, but it doesn't go back up as much as it was before she started. I know, we've learned this last year. I can't wait to see what the girls think of the new surprise. So much more we can do now because of that. That's been planned since we started planning the barn build. We knew once we need we knew once we did the barn build we were gonna need to do the surprise. So it's all been a planning process over the last five years. <laughs> and it's so great to see it finally come into fruition. Everything takes time guys. It all takes time. Ready? No, oh, you go this way. This way. There you go. There's your mama, little pig. There's your mama. Good morning, Blossom. Yes, come on and come on. Let's go out. Good morning, little P. Yeah, good morning, girl. Yes, come on in. The girls are ready to get out. I hear them. Where are you, Moose? Morning, Moose. You've been awfully quiet lately, dude. Nothing? All right. One of our chickens is molting. I wonder when the other ones are gonna start. Looks like she's getting ready too. So you think we can get it all done and ready today? Yeah. We're gonna Finished up. All right. Let me get the sauce that off. You don't want me to help you. No, you do. You want to grab that in?
what I came up with last night. Like when you're sleeping? Uh, no. Before I went to bed, I came down there and took some measurements. So I think if we cut the next set at 22 and three quarters, you can cut 27 of them at that length. At 22 and three quarters? Yeah, 22 and three quarters. If we cut 27 of them at that, they'll all go here, and then we can cut our next set to go here, and then we'll do up there after. 27 of them. 27 of them at 22 and three quarters. And then I'm gonna finish masking and papering over here. And then we'll stop putting up our nailers. Don't worry, Figaro's gonna keep an eye on you. All right, we ran out of paper over here yesterday. So we need to finish papering here and down low. That's done. And we'll do around the door right before they show up. Then we can get all the nailers in. We're looking good. If you cut one of them, then we can set a guide for you. So then we can do that. Lock it in place. And then every time you slide your board over, just hit it. Before we go any further, let's paper here. So that way we can have it behind our two by.
gonna keep moving on down the road. why but putting this board in holding the paper up it's just so satisfying when it does that Eating up the nails way too fast. All right. I've got to put a nail right in the middle. And then we'll nail our siding or our interior wall here and we'll still have some of our beam revealed that's the goal here is this for the back wall thank you Okay. 
can. I'll take this end. Thank you. I want to get my cord over there under the wood. Oh, from under the wood. I'll move it after, but that'll be good for now. So we can make all the cross. Were you using empty pieces? No, not here we were. So. Cut one at 28 and let me check it, and then I think that'll work. Good. Oh, do you have any short pieces? What size? Well, so, let's see. If I do this, I got lots of and this, that's the closest they can go. Uh, oops. 19 would be nice. And we would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, no, 17, 18 of them ish. I got a lot at, at uh, 15. 15, we might be, want to hand me one, I'll see how it works. Well, it's like 14 and a half. Let me see, because we're going to need nailers in here. So we could do that. We could put one like that. I can do And like that. that bunch of different little This is going to be the slow, time-consuming part. I'm trying to keep measurements, so. so I can just take one. So that'll go here. So.
then we'll have something to nail our boards to. This will all get filled with foam, and if I have to, I can get some great stuff to fill the little gaps after. back wall here I'm trying to leave this top nailer down and to give them enough room to be able to get the spray foam up in between the wall and in that piece of paper is a two by six I want them to be able to spray the foam in between the two without my top nailer being in their way figured I better mask up the hole here between the strapping and that last siding board before the spray foam went out and bowed up either the flashing or came out the roof or both. Figured I'd rather be safe than sorry. And we're gonna need two of them at 48. That'll take up our last full one. Seriously. Seriously. And then we're gonna use up all the little parts and pieces. We're gonna have just enough. It better be not just cut out pieces. I just want to use it all up nicely. Or have left leg buckles. Isn't that half of the yeah, cut it right in half. Figured that close with wood wise. I was thinking I thought it could be just right, but no, no. We're out in about two weeks. Want to hand me the nail gun, please?
I think all of our nail and pieces are put in. And we used up all the lumber. Are you using any of these scrap pieces? I think that's all kindling now. I don't see any place we need or that we forgot. Everything looks like we have all of our nail strips in. Looks good guys. Took a little bit longer, about two days longer than I thought it was gonna take to get this done. I was hoping to get it done in one day, but I figured that probably wouldn't happen. So I was hoping for two and it took three. Ah, kind of a long project guys, but I can't wait till it's all foamed. It'll make it quieter in here, especially during the rainstorm. So make it a better place for us to work and video. So that way we're not hearing rain and I think it'll be good. How you ladies doing? Ready for some more hay? Yeah, what are you doing, Hope a Dope? Huh? What are you doing? Being a good girl? Yeah, it's been so hard filming the animal chores. I can't wait till our next video, y'all. Oh, if you haven't seen the bonus video, go check it out. It's gonna make a huge difference. I can't wait to share it all. Oh, it's a low day of eggs today. So two, ooh, four, and I broke one. Six, eight, 10, 12, but we only get to keep 11. Ah, the chickens won't mind. They'll enjoy this. Can we hit the rock? Nope. If you guys haven't seen the bonus video yet, I'm going to put a link to it right here on the end card. But man, I can't wait for tomorrow when we finally get to use the new... Yeah, I can't tell you right now. You gotta go watch the video. But then tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, we get to use it. Ha ha, guys, I can't wait. It's gonna be so... I don't know, interesting, exciting. I'm looking forward to it. If you go and watch, or if you've watched the bonus video, leave a comment either here or on the bonus video and let me know what dynamic do you think it's going to add to the videos? Or what do you would you like to see now in the videos because of it? I'd love to hear that. Oh, Gina thinks I'm getting a little overboard on the way we're going to be doing the inside of the workshop. The way I figure it, we're all going to be looking at it, so we might as well do it pretty to make it nice looking. I think it's going to be really nice when it's all said and done. It's going to take a little bit of extra time doing this way, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be worth it in the end. I was able to line up the spray foam company to come tomorrow, which works out perfect. We were able to get the barn all prepped, ready to go. And then tomorrow, they're going to come foam it, and we'll be using something else too. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video tomorrow with a whole bunch of new exciting things going on, guys. It's been crazy that time of the year so we're trying to rush and get everything done before winter sets in yeah so thanks for coming along and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom